Hi, I'm Cell Phone Sally. Do you know how to get help in an emergency? It's easy. These three little numbers could save your life. Now we're going to meet two young heroes who will show us how to call 911, Maria and Josh. Let's go indoors and meet Maria first. Maria. Hi, cell phone Sally. How are you? Fine, except for this occasional ringing in my ears. <laughs> Maria, would you help us learn about phones that we find indoors? Sure. Then take it away, Larry. Howdy. I'm Landline Larry, and I come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. I have buttons or dials. I sit on desks or hang on walls. But all landline phones have one thing in common. A cord. Kind of looks like a tail. Or more precisely, a cord that attaches it to the wall. You see, Maria, this type of phone has a curly cord that attaches the handset to the phone. Only these phones have the tails hidden in the wall. <laughs> If you use a curly cord phone, just pick up the handset and you'll hear a dial tone right away. Then dial 911. And when the 911 call taker picks up, you answer all the questions. The good thing about curly cord phones is that if the power goes out, the phone still works. See what I mean? No, I can't see anything. Oh, sorry about that, little lady. How about now? Yes, I get it. The phone stays on. There are also phones that have no curly cords, and we call them cordless, like me. <laughs> Fun part about these, you can carry us all over the place, even outdoors. <laughs> That's because the phone sends a signal to the base like a radio. Here's how to use it. Press the on or talk button, listen for a dial tone, then dial 911 and answer all the questions. There is one more tail type of phone, and that is the VOIP. Looks just like any other landline phone, but it's connected to the internet instead of a phone line. Use it the same way. Just pick up the handset, then dial 911. The only problem with cordless and VoIP phones is that during a power outage, they may not work. Well, there you have it, Maria. And remember, phones with tails are smart. Adios, little lady. Thanks, Landline Larry. So, that's three types of phones you can call 911 with. But there are even more. Sometimes, emergencies happen when you're outdoors or away from home. Don't worry. There are still ways to call 911. Here's Josh to help us learn about them. <laughs> So, Josh, if you had to dial 911 outdoors, how would you do it? Uh, Psst. well... Josh! I, I guess I... Over here. I'm Patty Payphone. Right. I'd use a payphone. Very good, Josh. But what if you didn't have any money to put in the slot? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, no worries, Josh. You see, you don't need coins to make a 911 call. Really? <laughs> yep. And even better, the 911 call taker knows exactly where you are, thanks to Enhanced 911. No problem. But what if there wasn't a payphone nearby? Oh, um, well... Hey, Josh, down here! I'm Kid Friendly Keith! You don't have any number keys. You're brighter than a 200-watt bulb, Josh, man. Us kid-friendly devices are easier to use than other phones. All you do is push one button for Mom and one button for Dad. Then how do I dial 911? That's the cool part. There's a special button just for emergencies. You hold it down and it dials 911 automatically. Wow, that's easy. See you later, alligator. <laughs> but what if you didn't own a kid friendly phone? Now what do I do? Well, there's one more phone you can use. I give up. Where's the other phone? It's me, Josh. Don't. Hey. If I see an emergency, I could just send a text. Right, Sally? Afraid not, Josh. Contact with 911 must be made by dialing the phone and talking to the call taker. Texts, emails, and photos are a no-go. 
Thanks for the lesson, Sally. Hang loose. Now that we know how to call 911, let's practice what to say. Let's listen to Maria as she makes her emergency call. Oh, no. Maria can see that this is a true emergency, so she decides to call 911 for help. 911. What is the address of your emergency? Big truck. Zoom. Swerve. Then bang. Really loud. Saw from my window. Then fire. Whoa, whoa. Slow down, please. Always remain calm and speak slowly so that all the information gets heard. What is the address of your emergency? Uh, I live at 4242 Mortimer Street. Yes, that's what my computer is showing me. And is that where the emergency is? No, it happened down the street by the corner, but I don't know the street names. That's okay. Is there a landmark or a big store nearby? Um, there's a yellow donut shop next to the truck. Good. And I see that your phone number is 555-1234. Is that correct? Right. Great. Now, what is your name, dear? Maria Estrada. Excellent. Thanks. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Don't hang up until the 911 call taker tells you it's okay to. Just a few more questions. Tell me exactly what happened, Maria. Sorry. A big truck hit a pole at the end of the street. Very good. Is anyone hurt? Hello? Are you there? I can't hear you, Maria. Remember, the 911 call taker can't see you, so make sure you speak all your answers loudly and clearly. The 911 call taker needs to be able to hear your information. Yes, the driver looks hurt. Is he awake and breathing? He is sitting on the sidewalk. Excellent. You did a great job, Maria. Help us on the way. You can hang up now. Thanks. Bye. Maria did very well, and the 911 call taker got all the information she needed to send help. So now that we know how to call and what to say, it's time to learn about when to call. Oh. And now, welcome to emergency or not quite an emergency. All right, Josh, you and the viewers are going to answer some questions, all right? You bet. Good. Now, which one of these are the real 911 emergencies? A house on fire. Definitely an emergency, right? Absolutely. Fires are very dangerous. Okay, an intruder is breaking into a house. Uh, yes? Bingo! That intruder doesn't belong there. He could hurt people or steal things. Next question. You fall off your bike and scrape your knee really bad. Um, not an emergency. Right again! Next one. Your dog escapes from the backyard. Oh, a pet is part of the family. Definitely an emergency. Oh, sorry, Josh. Animal emergencies don't count unless the animal is attacking a human. Last one. An adult can't wake up. That happened to my uncle. So, yes, I call 911. Correct! If someone is unconscious and can't wake up, that is an emergency. Wow, you're good at this, Josh. And so are you. You all did great. I rock. Yes, you do. We rock. Knowing how and when to call 911 is very important. Lots of real boys and girls just like Josh and Maria have helped out in real emergencies. You can make a difference. Let's go over everything we learned so we don't forget. All right? Good. Before dialing 911, make sure it's a true emergency. And if you're ever not sure if something is an emergency, go ahead and call 911 just to be safe. You can use lots of different phones to call 911. Pay phones, cell phones, phones with curly cords, and cordless phones. But remember, if the power goes out, some of these phones may not work. Once you get through to the 911 call taker, make sure you speak clearly and loudly. Try to stay calm. Know your location so you can tell the 911 call taker where the emergency is, like road names, street addresses, or nearby landmarks. Don't forget to stay on the line, answer all the 911 call taker's questions, 
And if you don't know the answer, it's okay to say, I don't know. Lastly, and this is really important, only practice on a pretend phone. Don't call 911 for fun. It's not a game. These three little numbers could save your life. You don't need to worry, just pick up a phone.